Hello YouTube, and welcome to a new little game I found called Sea of Stars. It seemed interesting to me, and it had pretty good reviews on Steam, so I figured, why not give it a shot? If I like it, we'll keep playing it. If not, oh well. But, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Ooh. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party. Seeing we change later does not affect the story. Monk born on the winter solstice, that's the longest night, if I remember correctly, walks the path of the guardian, Gallus, Luana, Blade, Blade Dancer born on the summer solstice, that's the longest day, I believe, walks the path of the guardian god, Solon. Oh, I'm a man, so I'm gonna do the, the dude. Just personal preference. If I don't like it, I can always switch later. Ooh. Backstory. This is a messy library. Welcome to the Great Archives Adventure. I suppose curiosity brought you here. Important trait, to be sure. I am the archivist and am an immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. No wonder your library is so messy. You never bothered to organize anything. But perhaps you knew that already? After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I've decided to return here to know, mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one observing... One deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. What are you peeking at me for, huh? So walk with me tonight and we will explore a tale of high adventure. Of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder. Most importantly, a tale of heroism. One that, I believe, will offer valuable insight into the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Ew. I don't like the name of that. <laughs> that is... Ew. Now I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and those subtle variations. But I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Fleshmancer. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, uh, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, call causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that is yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, two brave children of the Solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully fledged Solstice warriors, they will need how to use magic without using magic. That is a... Use magic without using magic. That sounds ridiculously complicated. <laughs> I guess an instinctual power then, not like spells and, and stuff. Alright, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So, the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Could be, but it sure beats sitting at the academy. Valerie's pretty cute. I like the pixel art for these guys. And sewing. <laughs> what? Ha, uh, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure glad that's over with. Yeah, I, I don't do sewing much either. <laughs> Apply yourselves for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons tie here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. I don't think anybody really notices the thing hiding behind the trees there, do they? I can see the blue. There's something behind the tree there. I just want to point that out, because they're obviously clueless. Ha ha ha. Ah, listen quote. Yeah. 
Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's put up and search for a good spot. Time for some scouting. Ah, see, I knew it. I'm coming through. Okay, so tax skills. He just has attack. Wanderer. Ow. Yeah, I think he did a good amount of damage, huh? Power 100. What does that mean? Brugaves wasn't kidding. Brugaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Who's Brugaves? Let's see where this leads. Yeah, see, I told you there was some behind the tree. Okay. Oh, I kind of like this. Okay, I guess we're making our way up to that camp right there. Oh, what is that thing? Whoa. Can I jump there? I can't. What are you? Are you the spirit that we're looking for? I guess we're fighting you. Okay, so I have 45 health. What does this guy have? A Rochevere? Oops, only six damage. Ow. Ouch, tough one, huh? Let's try this. What does that do? What is this? That little sun ball. Solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. All right. Hold for power. Okay, so I could have gotten maximum, but. Zale found anything. Just a dead end, how about you? Nothing to note. The way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over, I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. I want a club sandwich. Press spacebar to unroll lope rope ladders. Okay. I'm literally just playing this with one hand, by the way. There is no, uh... Like, solid... Mouse, this is just a one hand thing. So, okay, so I can climb at any point in this. Okay, so as long as there's a ledge roughly the size of him, he can climb it. Interesting, interesting. I like this. Why do I feel like I went the wrong way? What? Can I, oh, I can climb that. Okay. Rock, I don't know how she got over that. Climb. Climb. Okay. Cool crystal slug looking thing. What are you? I don't know what you do, so I'm just gonna fight a loose slug. Okay, he did, he did not take much physical damage, so I guess he's a magic fighter, dude. Uh, sunball. One, two, three, four, max. So if you just hold it, I think it'll third stage you, but I think fourth stage is powerful because I saw it go tick up four, three, 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 four times yet. Okay, so we're jumping, jumping. Do you wanna jump? Question mark. Can I jump here? Can I jump here? I can, okay. That was weird. Oh, I have to be, like, perfectly lined up, so I can't even be, like, off-center. I can't be off-center for it. It just didn't want to work. Oh, another Rocher of Air. Okay. Come on. Am I facing the wrong way for this? I have no idea. But it doesn't beat the... Hot, but doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said, whether by paying attention in class or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. To be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. Don't 
touch fire. <laughs> that sounds like a bad idea. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming and getting in trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valerie. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. It's just... I wish he had said goodbye, you know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just know that he's alright. Who? What? And that we're still friends. Why did we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl? Oh, Garl. I remember seeing that name in the... The thing. Oh! Okay, I guess we're getting a backstory about it. Ten years ago in the village of Moon Cradle. That's a cool village name. Moon Cradle. Ah, here we are. My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. It'll be unstoppable. Ah, so this must be Garl. Or just Carl, I guess, but Garl. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? What, 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 yeah, I agree. What is that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent, and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain even before they were traveling historians to record it. Oh my, that is... Why is it called a... I guess I see... Why call it the sleeper, though? That's not a name for a serpent. No way. It sure is, and it's super dangerous, too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain, and the wind blows through them and plays a melody that keeps it asleep. That's why it's called the sleeper. I see now. I take back my previous statement. Whoa. I want to see it, too. It's the bell... Arlena and Burgraves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. Can I move now? I can move now. What is this? What is this? There's a book here I want to see. Oh, it's a save game. Okay, so they got like a little hideout going. Okay. Okay, so I guess this is how the party system is going to look like when it's done. One person controlling, and there's trailing behind. Okay, so they take the exact same path I take. I guess that makes sense. Where are we going? Can I harvest you? No. Ooh, can we talk to you? These crops are a main source of food. It's hard work, but I'm reminded every day we'll be all eat together that, it's, that the effort is well worth it. Yeah, there's only so many pumpkins, though, dude. Well, I guess if you've been eating off of it, yeah, that's understandable. So there's a sun temple. I think the other one looked like a moon temple. Hey, wait. Oh, ooh, this is a nice-looking cutscene. Damn, they're tall. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again? She has horns. No, it just looks like she has horns from the pictures. It's a ear, th it's a headpiece, or a hairpin. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa! Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valerie? Have you been training too? Every day. I bet I'm stronger than you now. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here, then. <laughs> oh, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. <laughs> uh, big boom. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Solstice Warriors. Oh. Ooh. Headmaster Moraine, if you're done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. I guess this is the headmaster they were talking about the campfire. Erlina does not look amused. Right away, headmaster. Burgays. Do we go too? 
Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Uh, let's go Brugaves. Brugaves? Brugaves. Okay. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon can make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And Moraine will be so impressed he'll take you to and for training right away, and then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets bad and delays our training instead? Nah, no way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go. Okay, so we're wandering again. Assuming it's going to be up. Oh! Oh, is this like the, f the travel map? Oh, that's, that's cool. I like the way they did that. It's a free to control travel map. How many saves can we have? Only three? Children of the Solstice. I think that's what this chapter's called. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if we don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Here. Oh, is that a sandwich? Oh, sandwich. I love sandwiches. Sandwich is good stuff. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I use a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. Fair enough. Ha ha ha. Alright, how do I do this? Maybe like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating? You got this, Valerie. Yeah. Oh, she got the sparkles. Oh. I knew it. It worked? I did it. I finally did it. <laughs> well, she's excited. So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Did we just wait for him to show up? We might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Why do I get the feeling that this is a bad idea? It's called a forbidden cavern. Forbidden usually means bad. Look at all the mushrooms. This foliage looks cool. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. Thought every Mist Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah, good call. Watch out. There's another one. This is bad. We're surrounded. Have you tried to use your powers? We're not ready for this. I, I don't know, just try. Yeah, girl, this is kind of your fault, dude. You're the one who instigated. Okay, let me focus. Watch out, it's preparing something. Come on, come on. Zale, watch out. Ah! It stabbed his eyeball. Really hurts. I can't see. It's about to attack again. And they disintegrated. So it was you. As resourceful as you are, reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. Smacked a few times with the, with a pole. 
Like anyone born Moon Cradle, a regular kid. A regular kid. What Garl needs is not to concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you are so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Yeesh. So his eye is like straight up gone? He should have lost an eye? Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but this pain seems to return. Please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. Can he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way! But your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to ref reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it'll help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. Let's train really hard, maybe it won't take so long. So, he ended up getting ditched after instigating. Uh oh. Oh, I thought they were teleporting. No, it's just an elevator. Although, honestly, floating platform elevator is also really cool. On a purple cloud? Oh, wow. Now that is an academy. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. So I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Eh? Oh, more elevator. I said always elevators in magic places. Elevators, every time. Still going up, though. A lot of up. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Oh, it's beautiful. Feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquainted with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too from what Arlena told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. They have no idea how much potential they have. It's probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. Learn, we'll learn how to fight, too, right? Naturally. You'll spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sorry, what? S sewing? I, I agree, Zale. Sewing? <laughs> that sounds boring. <laughs> oh, but I can assure you that it... <laughs> oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric... The staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest pl places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first you must learn of your duties, train until you cannot feel your whim limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. Sewing. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That will be all for today. <laughs> They're going to be clothiers, not warriors, by the end of this. 
Oh gosh. You'll be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourself at home. To your left is the training room. You are to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, <laughs> of course. And to your right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. Can we move now? We can move. I'm immediately going up. Ah, of course it's locked. Oh, there's a person over here. Harrison. I remember when Erlina and Bergaves were your age, they wouldn't stop running. I feel old now. Be both. I will say, I love the decorations on this place. Sewing basics. Oh my god, sewing. <laughs> okay. So there's another save point. Just a bunch of old books. Okay, is that all that's here? Okay, it's the same response for everything. But having this here implies that I probably should save, huh? I think this bed is for me, let's find yours. What? I think this bed is for me, let's find your what What do you mean? Oh. Duh. Blue for moon, red for sun. But I like the color blue. Go to sleep? Yeah, sure, there's nothing else going on right now. The next morning in the training room. Good morning, fellas. Brugaves! Brugaves. How are you, how do you sit, pronounce his name properly? Brugaves? Brugaves? So you be our trainer? I wish. Arlena and I are leaving tomorrow, but the headmaster was kind enough to let us make your first day special. You ready for training? I bet. That's what I like to hear. I reckon these should be well suited for the two of you. Training sword? Training staff. Alright, let's get to work. Do I fight him? Nope, running laughs. You got this, Valerie. Don't give up now. Never. As she proceeds to go off in a mad sprint. A lot of ladders. Come on, Zell, keep up. I can do this. Ninety-nine, one hundred. That's it for today. You did great. That was a lot. Feel free to take a break. Arlena will see you on the terrace whenever you're ready. Okay. Okay. So we started with main combat, and then I guess background is the tutorial. There you are. Ready to learn magic? You feel as if something was scratching an itch far away from you. You must focus on the sensation and compel it to come closer. I think it's working. Hey, you startled me. I almost had it. Now mine's gone too. It's okay. Just breathe slowly. She looks unamused. Try to release only when you feel its current passing in front of you. If your timing is true, it will manifest on three. One, two, three. I think I felt it. It tickles. Right there. You just said the hardest part. Jury training will go well, but one more thing. No matter what the headmaster teaches you, remember that this is your life. And Erlina. She does not look amused. Since you are done onboarding our new recruits in the ways of magic, I'll provide the briefing for your next assignment. I 
As for the two of you, it's about time you tried that sewing kit. Oh god, move along now. Oh god, no. Oh no. And making a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars sure is a tall order. <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what shape to even make. At least the headmaster said we wouldn't get it right the first time. Well, I'm bored. <laughs> I would be too. Ooh, wait, can we go eavesdrop on the headmaster? Ooh, ooh. Eavesdrop, 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 eavesdrop. Let's go. <laughs> you keep saying that, but the Fleshmancer left our realm for good when the Dweller of Strife was destroyed. Destroyed. So why can't they have a normal life? You know the three of us can take on, can take the one on Wrath Island. We don't need them. Prudence, Arlena. There is no telling what threats we may face in the future. Zale and Valerie were brought to Moon Cradle by the Great Eagle. It's not the place of the Headmaster to question such thing, is, and neither is it yours. So how much is enough? What about Moyara? What, what about the twins? Brugaves. Do not judge a sacrifice you cannot begin to comprehend. This conversation is over. They will study here while you carry on with your investigation. On the first eclipse after the training is complete, they will join us for the cleansing. Learn as much as you can until then. But let's just go, Brugaves. Brugaves. I'm gonna call him Brugaves, because Brugaves does not sound right. And so they trained and they sewed for days and then for months. Oh my god. Sewing for months? I would have burned the place down. Faster now. He's doing the worm. Focus and then release. And the longer a dweller is left to his devices, the stronger it gets. This makes patrol duty essential. Let one grow for too long and you have a world eater on your hands. Against such a foe, even a legion of solstice warriors would be helpless. Since delaying only increases the chances of a world eater, cleansings always target the strongest dweller known to us. Headmaster, if dwellers are immune to our magic, how can we fight them? That is why cleansings are always performed during a total eclipse. In these moments only, the dweller's weaknesses are exposed. How many dwellers are left? Just the one, known as the Dweller of Woe, but we cannot know for sure. The flesh, the flesh mancer may have, just may have planted other seeds of evil before leaving our world. Thus we must always remain vigilant. Headmaster? Yes, Ale? What happened with, with the Dweller of Strife? Who's Moyara? That will be all for today. I want to know, though. A few, weeks, a few weeks later, I sound in the night. Say I'll wake up. What is it? I think I heard a voice coming from the entrance. What time is it? Who cares? Let's go check it out. Alright. I would want to stay in bed too. Let other people handle it. Sleep is important, especially for growing people. And I mean people, because children don't stop growing. Up until like the age of 25, I think you can still grow, technically. Hey, look. Oh, it smells good. There's a note. Dear Zale and Valerie, if you're reading this, it probably means I got caught. I'm writing this as a failsafe, but it's failsafe, but I hope to see you in person. I made cookies filled with the celestial willow jam you liked. Aw. Keep reading. I'm doing everything I can to be ready to leave when you graduate. In the meantime, I hope your training is going well. Oops, now the platform is almost up and I can see 
Moraine is there waiting for me. He looks very angry. Angry. I'll try to drop the jar without him noticing. I guess that means I won't be able to try to visit again. But I think, but I'm thinking of you every day, and, and I can't wait. I hope you like the cookies. If ran until the end of time, Garl. That is so sweet. He's a good kid. Let's go up on the disc to eat the cookies. Got cookie jar. You're gonna get caught with your hand in the cookie jar. These cookies are amazing. Can't believe Gar was just there. I miss him so much. He seems well, at least, after what happened in the Forbidden Cavern. Knowing him, I bet he smiled it away the next day. Probably right. We can't let something like this happen ever again. At this rate, it feels like we'll never sell something good enough for the Elder Mist. It will happen, we just have to keep on training hard. So they trained, and they sewed, for years. And then they trained, and they sewed some more. Until so one day... On cutscene. Moon Cradle. Zale, that's the one. I can feel it too, hold on. Alright, I think I got it too. Let's go see the headmaster. So they were literally just sewing just to make one piece of fabric that <laughs> Is it the little glowing thing that's on them? Hold on, let me get Yeah, so the blue cloth on her back and the orange cloth around his waist. Is that the cloth that they were making? Is that this, the pieces of fabric that was worthy of the very stars? Is that it? Headmaster, we think we're ready. Why yes, the tingling of magic in the air has been building up for a few weeks now. Congratulations, moving forward there'll be no more sewing. I can deal with that. I agree. <laughs> sewing for years on end every day? Oh my god. It will soon be time for you to leave on your journey to meet the Elder Mist. But before we get to that, Zenith Academy has one more challenge for you. Oh, our visitors just arrived. Perfect timing. Bruges. Wow, you've both grown pretty strong. Hey, it's good to see you. Arlena and Bruges are here to help you review the basics of combat. Check in with them, then it will be time for your final test. I knew it. We're getting that stuff and now it's tutorial time. Ready to go through the basics of magic? Yes. When enemies prepare spells, you must do everything you can to prevent them. If you follow your senses, you can try dealing damage of the types that will break their concentration. Simpler spells will only demand normal attacks. Valerie can do blunt damage and Zale has slicing. Okay. Let's see you break this one. Okay, so she needs slice and a blunt. And it weakens the power of the spell. Oh, I see. Oh, it took four turns to prepare. Okay, just like that. Now some spells will also demand magic damage to break. Control your projectiles now, so let's give it a shot. Zale for Sun and Valerie for Moon. Okay, so Sunball. One, two, three. Ah, I missed Max. And then she's got a moon a moon ring. Oh no, my. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Okay, that's actually a really cool attack. I was mocking the name, but wow. To keep up the pace in battle, you must remember to regenerate MP. Let's build it back up a bit. Hit me with a normal attack now. So... Did you feel that? You just got some MP back by attacking. In 
the battle awareness leads to victory. You must pace your spells with normal attacks to avoid ending up in a dire situation with no MP available to get out of it. That's actually really useful. On the flip side, you should not hesitate to use spells when, when MP abounds, for a regular attack on a full bar is a waste of regeneration. Okay, so you regenerate a specific amount each time, and that regeneration is always there, but using a full bar and not having that regen makes sense. The key to is to experiment, keep on varying your actions, and find the rhythm appropriate for each battle. Which means it's not going to be the same every time, which is going to irk me. One last thing. All battle actions, lock breaking especially, build your combo and energy. When you have enough, you can spend combo points to perform powerful actions. I got hiccups. Combos cost no MP and are lost after battle, so you should never hesitate to use them. Moraine told me to... Told me you came up with your first combo attack. Show it to me. Combo Solstice Strike. Yeah, you're strong, alright. Keep an eye out in your adventures. You're bound to come across scrolls. Ooh, that will teach you more combos. Good luck with the exam. I'm sure you'll do great. Okay, basics of combat. Combat basics, yes. Okay. I don't know how to break spells. You can do this. Let's just get started. Try attacking me. Just attack me now in any order. Use A and D to cycle through available characters. Party members can use their turn in the order of your choice, but they can only act once per round. When all of your party members are on cool, cool down, the round resets and they all become available again. Okay. So, I want to... Okay, so we're not doing that yet. 15. 11. Good. Focus is paramount whenever you perform attacks and skills. With proper timing, you can increase the damage that you deal and sometimes even score additional hits. Let's see it. Press space bar as the hit connects to increase damage? Oh, so there's actual player interaction when it comes to fights. Okay. Attack... Good, let's see that one more time. Okay, I didn't do it right. I think I'm supposed to press it multiple times. One, two. Okay. Yeah, that's the gist of it. Okay. Most of your attacks and spells can be made more potent with proper timing. Some also keep going with more hits until you miss. Remember to think of timed hits as a welcome addition when you pull it off, rather than something you're supposed to do perfectly all the time. So don't worry about it too much. Just keep on trying and your sense for it will develop over time. Not for timing your blocks. Let's get the little guy in here. To be efficient in battle, you must pay attention to anything that starts moving. With proper timing, you can reduce the damage of any incoming attack or spell by blocking. Get ready. As a hit connects to reduce damage. Ow. That was too soon. Stay focused and press as the hit connects. Okay. Okay. Good. Let's see that one more time. Ow. That was too late. <laughs> Stay focused and press as the hit connects. That was too soon. Okay. Sometimes it can be diff it can be difficult sometimes. Here, let me help you. Now. That's how you do it. Okay. Remember to always stay alert. Some patterns will be harder to read than others, even requiring sometimes even requiring multiple blocks. Don't be too hard on yourself. No one is expected to block everything all the time. It's not about getting it perfectly all the time, but rather building a growing sense for it. Just think of pulling. Just think of a time block as a welcome bonus whenever you happen to pull it off. The key is remembering to read your enemies and to keep trying. Okay, so this is actual like on the player bit too, not just like a chance thing that happens. I actually really like that. That's interesting, actually. One more thing. Ow. When a, I just knocked her out for that. When a party member gets knocked out in battle, you'll need to switch to more defensive mode. KO'd allies will get up on their own at 50 HP once all the KO stars are gone. One, KR, one KO star is removed at the end of each round. Oh, God. The more you 
fall during the same battle, the more KO stars there are, so be careful. If all party members go down, it's game over. Fight and survive until Valerie returns? Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay, he's easy to read for the block. Her, not so much. Ow, I missed. And she's up. And there you have it. Good work today. I'm sure the exam will be a breeze. Okay, I'm more concerned about blocking than the actual attacking, but... Moraine will see you to the final test. I'm sure you'll do great. Are you ready for the final test, then? Yeah. Then let's begin. So we're gonna fight him now. The big day has finally come. Over the years, Zenith Academy has tested you in many ways. I'll not test you one last time. Have you prepared your vows? Yes. Then speak them now. You go first, Zale. Okay. So that I may use my agility to cleanse this world and protect my companions, I'll enter the world as a blade dancer. I choose the I chose the curved blade as it will not hinder my speed or reflexes. Welcome, Blade Dancer. Come on, Valerie. I did it. Now it's your turn. <laughs> so that I may use my strength to inspire hope and eradicate evil, I'll become a battle monk. I chose the staff or it won't break no matter how hard I strike. Welcome, battle monk. Today you must demonstrate mastery of everything Zenith Academy has taught you. Your final challenge awaits below. Please step aside. It's going up? Oh, before I forget, here's a little something to keep your health full. Obtained three tomato clubs. Now, have faith in your abilities and purpose in your actions. Take the leap. And return as the new recruits of our order. Let's just go for it. Wait, they're jumping? Oh, no. I don't like that. Okay. Well, that's definitely an interesting start to the series. Uh, I want to go to, like, get a save point, but... Where's a save point? There's a... There's chests. Ooh, hold on. I'm gonna have to get used to this uh, movement system here. I still have the cookie jar! <laughs> oh, that's cool. Jump, 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 jump. Found one ornate stone. Ooh. Okay, is there a... Ah, there is. Okay, equip... Items. Oh, I wanted items. Hold on. Uh, items. Ornate stone. Fits a brass. Oh, it goes with this thing over here, obviously. Duh. Ornate stone. Oh, yay. Fighty time. So, they're separate, I guess. So, I can fight one at a time. Nope. Both. Okay, cool. Skills. Okay, uh... Training probe. Probe. One. Ouch. Her block. She blocks slower. Her block is different. Uh, I want to use your moon meringue. Okay. Uh, I'm ready. Ah, what? Okay, so is this a multi-hit? It is. Okay. One, two, three. Boom! 16 experience points. Ooh. Can we go in these sections here? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Doesn't seem like there's anything going on. Okay. So that's interesting. Interesting. There's no save point. I was going to end the episode here, but there's not a save point to end it with. So I guess we have no choice. Okay. 
right. Do, 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 do. I like this music. Ornate stone. Ah, more more crobes. MP does not regenerate. It did during the last one. Oh, I don't like the angle for this. Oh no, I'm missing all my <laughs> all of my attacks. Uh, wait, I hit you last time, didn't I? Take you out. That way, it'd take less damage. I missed. Ha! Ha! Got it. Skills. No. Just attack. You out. You have one combo. Lock. Skills. Hold on. No, no, no. Not, not you. I want. Not you. I want. I wanted to do him so I could heal, but okay. Gave us this matto pen. Cool. Don't need all of it, just the one to keep his health up. Can I use any skills? Okay, so I can. That's good to know. Made stone. Has a fancy stone that lights on fire. And I guess now we ascend. haven't even been to the other side of the Forbidden Cavern yet. How could they understand? So you don't think we should at least try and explain? You've seen how strong they are. Word will be a walk in the park. Let's see them off then. Exam mode en engaged. Brace yourselves. I didn't even need to heal. Okay, fine. Shuffle weakness. Physical. Because if I attack him with physical, then vulnerable. I see. So if I were to... He's not vulnerable to that. Oh block, oh block, oh block, ow. Shuffle weakness, sun? Oh, sunball. Okay, hold. One, two, three. Bingo. Uh, yeah, just regenerate because I want you to be able to use your moon thing because I think he's going to shift to it. I think I blocked that, yeah. Shuffle weakness moon, yeah. So you can just attack. No, 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 no. I want you to use your skill moon moonerang. Boing, boing, oh. I'm not blocking them. Weakness physical. Power th uh oh. Okay, so I don't have that, but she does. Vulnerable. Vulnerable. Energy release? Uh oh. you to do that. Oh! I guess he's dead? Okay. Hey, we leveled up. Oh? Level up. 
Okay, so he gets... Oh, he finally got defense and magic defense now, huh? Three physical defense, one mana points, two physical attack, two magic attack. He doesn't have any defense now, which is kind of irritating. He also only has enough mana for one attack, which is also sucks. He's a very, which means he's a very hefty physical attacker, so I can up him right now and go from there. Or create his magic attack, which would make his magic attack more useful. However, right now he's a blade dancer, so he does mostly physical attacks. But I wanted to have at least some defense in the first place, so... There. Okay, so she gets mana points, more hit points, physical attack, or magic defense. She's a seems to be pretty heavy magic attacker. I want her to be able to do that, and I want her to be able to tank some hits so he can heal her. She's also very potent. Eight health is very nice right off the bat, though. And he's more than a physical. She just need to be able to survive a hit, though. Uh, we'll do mana. Because she's a very magic attacker, and I don't want to have to spend a lot of time regenning. Congratulations, you've been trained well. Return now to your headmaster. Okay. Boing. Congratulations, Zaylin Valerie. You have learned everything Zenith Academy has had to teach you. Okay, we did it. In record time, too. You must now learn our ultra power, the ability to use magic without using magic. What? Well, that knowledge is for the Elder Mist to impart. Come, the villagers have gathered to celebrate your departure. It is on special days such as this one that the citizens of Moon Cradle are reminded of the importance of their duties. Where's Garl? I don't see him. Many years ago, Zale and Valerie de were delivered to us by the Great Eagle. Delivery is on two solstices in a row to boot. A very rare occurrence. Oh, I remember Gran was so happy to meet two, two more before she passed. I miss Gran. All of you have come together to nurture and protect them like just like your ancestors had done before for so many children of the solstice before. Zale and Valerie. Step forward so that the good people of Moon Cradle might gaze upon those who will soon join the ranks of the Solstice Warriors. This parading is ridiculous. I'll let the villagers have their fun, it's all they get. So you're okay with this now? You know I'm not. <laughs> now cheer with me as we send these young heroes out across the Forbidden Cavern to meet the Elder Mist. Hooray! To the gate! What do we do? I want to see Garl before leaving. I guess we have to play along for now. Fingers crossed that we can come back after meeting this Elder Mist. Fingers and toes. Zale, Valerie, you must undertake this journey on your own now. You will not fail, Headmaster. Go now through the Forbidden Cavern and atop the mountain trail to seek audience with the Elder Mist. Learn how to use magic without using magic, and then enter the world as true Solstice Warriors. May Luana's might protect you. May Solon's light guide you. Here, this should keep you fed for a little bit. Three more tomato clubs. If your venture feels a little tough, you could take a look at these. Got Amulet of Storytelling? Sequent Flare? Just received your first two relics. Find them in the relic section of the game menu to adjust your experience. Whether you prefer a lighter challenge or, or are looking to push yourself to the max, relics offer a range of options. There's bound to be more to find, huh? So the gameplay altering items? Weird. Remember to keep an eye out for merchants. Selling any valuables you find will keep you will keep you well fed and well equipped. Now, wherever your adventures take you, you must remember your first assignment. After the Elder Mist sends you out into the world, you must secure passage to Wraith Island in time for the next eclipse. 
We do keep on training for a dire cleansing awaits us. Still can't believe he wants them fighting a dweller already. That's Moraine for you. We weren't much older the first time. Yeah, but we'll find a way. Safe journeys and may you cleanse this world. Oh, Jesus. There's chests. Wait, there's chests. I want the chests. There's loot. I'm a loot goblin. I want it. Okay, so what is this? Okay, so I don't see them? I just have to equip. Wait. Ah, relics. Max HP and auto heal after combat. I do want that, because I don't care. <laughs> that is very nice. Successfully timing hits and blocks causes a star flare to fly out as of the character as clear as for clear as day confirmation that the input was properly timed. Recommended for those preferring stronger feedback and while closing in on the master of certain moves. We'll do that. That just seems like nice stuff. Wait, hold on. Did I say oh max HP plus a hundred percent auto heal after combat? Okay, so their HP is doubled. Okay. I just wanted the auto heal after combat. The max HP being up that much, honestly, I don't, don't mind that much. Doesn't seem that bad. I like that. Oh, now the floating thing on, on the bottom makes sense now. because I thought that was just the marker for it. No, that's the academy. Okay. Forbidden Cavern. But I think this is where we're going to call it quits for the day. Because we just got a lot of info and a lot of stuff done. So, this game, honestly, I really like it so far. It's neat. The pixel art on this is amazing. The movement I got to get a little used to. I think it is meant for, like, a controller for the angles. Not so much for keyboard, but I don't plan on using a controller for this game. And the music is not is nice. The combat mechanics is something I gotta get used to, but I actually really like being able to it that the fact that it rewards you for smashing the attack button <laughs> when when you attack because most games you attack be you usually mash the action button because. It makes you feel better that you're attacking harder. This game actually rewards you for doing that. For actually touching the attack button. The interact button. To attack and defend. Like I just did that. <laughs> it just triggered the thing. But. That's honestly a really nice feature. That I didn't think that this game would do. But that's an interesting way to add to combat. And adds like. An extra level of. Involvement to it. And I didn't think that would be a thing when I when I decided to play this game. But honestly, I really like this. But thank you guys for watching. I'm definitely going to do more on this series. I want to know what happened to Garl, where he went, if he still has an eye or not. I don't know if he does, but it's, it's something I want to know. But thank you guys for watching. If you like this, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any other game recommendations you want to play. This is just one that happened to pop up on the Steam menu for me. And, yeah. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.